Hey, folks, back again on Devoted Patriot 2 channel, and I have been to the Trump rally, if you don't already know. Got a little bit of footage for you I didn't bring out yesterday involving uh, something Marjorie Taylor Greene said and Trump said that I thought were very important at this very at this rally uh, here in Waco. Uh, before I get into that, I also do got uh, the J6 um, choir and Trump uh, song. It was on here. It's the national anthem song. Is also on here as well, so stick around for that. That's about a two, uh, about a two minute clip on here. So this video may get a little bit long, but stick around, folks. Got me some Trump gear yesterday. Got my Gadsden flag. Got me some stickers. Got me some T-shirts. Even got me a brand new hat. Got a deal on it. It was a glorious time. I had a great time getting to shake Mike Lindell's hand and tell him thank you, thank you for what you're doing. Help save our country. Involved in the election. I didn't get a quick picture of him. He was moving fast as a road runner. Now, this place, if you can't tell, I'm a little bit burnt up, a little bit of sunburnt, as you see. And uh, that makes me want to talk about a few things before I get into this particular video. Now, the do's and don'ts about going to a Trump rally that I had to learn the hard way. If you want to go early and you want, if you're going to get up and go early because you want to get one of those seats versus the standing area, be able to get one of those little wristbands on. You've got to be one of the first ones there, uh, meaning early, early the morning of the event. What they do is they let all the people in that have disabilities first, and that is the floor seating inside the uh, event center uh, where all the bleachers and everything is. And then the first several hundred people through the door, maybe even several thousand through the door, are the first ones to get these uh, wristbands. And everybody else is basically standing room only. So if you're going to go to a Trump event, you're going to get there early to try to get a good seat. You need to go extra early. That's my first tip for you. Uh, another one of the, the do's is make sure you bring some sunblock. And I'm not talking about aerosol because they'll take that away from you at the scanner. But I'm talking about lotion. I've seen people passing around lotion, using it and passing it around yesterday. Uh, very community-like. And uh, shame on me, I should have took some. My poor cheeks are sunburned today. But that's quite all right, folks. I had a great time. I uh, enjoyed the event wholeheartedly. I don't mind uh, going and supporting our conservative causes. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this video. But some of the don'ts I want to tell you about, before I forget, don't bring a lighter. If you do, you better leave it in your vehicle or prepare to lose it when you get up to the metal detector so they take them away from everybody. Before the event, that's that's a no-no I didn't realize. You can't bring umbrellas. You better bring a hat or buy a hat. And the bigger the brim, the better, especially in this Texas-type weather. Um, sunscreen, big hat, dress appropriately. If it's wintertime, wear a coat. If it's summertime, don't wear too many clothes. Because you'll just be toting them around. All common sense things, but uh, these are definitely some things to know. Uh, there was quite a few things, uh, tripods and things were not allowed as far as uh, telescopic poles and things of that nature, which is common sense to be used as weapons, so they would not allow those in as well. Most of these Trump rallies have a list of things they will and will not allow, but until you've been to one, you need to know these very few things. Make sure you eat before you get there. Uh, that's the first thing, because otherwise you'll be waiting half a day to get a, a, a cheeseburger at the concession trucks, because... 10, 20, 30,000 people at one of these events are just not enough concession trucks uh, for the amount of people waiting in line. It's just, uh, it's, it's a waiting nightmare. That's just a fact. So eat good before you go. And bring plenty of uh, water if you get a chance to stay hydrated. And don't bring credit cards because they don't take credit cards at these events. Everything is cash money. And that's what I've noticed. And uh, that's all I got for you as far as the do's and the don'ts just right off the top of my head. Don't forget the sunblock. That's the main one. And definitely try to get along and have a good time with everybody. Because everybody there that I've seen, no matter what race, creed, color, nationality, what part of the world they were from, what state they were coming in from, everybody there was universally in a joyous mood and just happy uh, to see Trump. Uh, the crowd went, went wild when Trump plane come 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 down and circled around the place before it landed the, the the excitement in the room should i say on the tarmac was uh definitely amazing uh, if you've never been to an event or a rally or like a reawakening tour or something with some of these politicians like trump 
Um, it's a once in a lifetime experience that you will not forget. That's why I enjoy going to these things. I was glad that they came to my hometown of Waco, Texas. Now, let me go ahead and jump into this, and I will say a little bit at the end. Um, actually, I'll, I'll say a little bit after uh, Marjorie Taylor Green gets to speaking. Uh, she's got a great clip as well. Now, let me go ahead and hit the play button real quick. Now, this is here is where I was standing in line. This is 930 in the morning, and I've got the volume turned down. This is just showing that the line is already moving, but here within an hour or two of this, there'll be five times as many people. Uh, the event has definitely uh, got a lot of people coming early in the day to make sure they beat the crowd. And when they show up, the crowd is already there. And I happen to be one of them myself. To world leaders <laughs> like Zelensky and Xi of China. Now in the Republican controlled Congress, I serve on the House Oversight Committee. And we are investigating the Biden family bank records. And you want to know what, Waco, Texas? It turns out I was right all along about my articles on impeachment. Joe Biden should be impeached. He's corrupted. He's not fit to serve the President of the United States. And he sells out America every single day because his family's been paid. You follow the money and sure enough, the bank records don't lie. So pay attention to the Oversight Committee and our investigation. We have the receipt. Joe Biden is compromised and he is a danger to every single American. All right, now, folks, uh, they're fixing to play this song. I'm sure you've probably heard it by now. It has went uh, number one on Spotify. I think it's been kicked off of iTunes, but it is. I actually have a video about this about five videos back. If you haven't heard the song and haven't had a chance to download it, you can go over to Spotify or uh, iTunes or one of those sites where you download the uh, music. Or you can actually copy it from my video which is uh, about five videos back where I recorded it as well off the Gateway Pundit. But here it is live for you as we anticipate Trump getting off the plane. Uh, check it out, folks. It's about two minutes long. And be, be sure to stick around because the video is not over yet. But I did want to say Marjorie Taylor Greene is absolutely right. We have got Joe Biden and his family in the crosshairs, and it's just a matter of time. We're going to have these America first fighters in the oversight committee and the judicial committee going to get to the bottom of all this corruption and hopefully we will get some uh not just persecution but some prosecution we'll have to see how that all goes as time goes on but i do believe they're headed in the right direction like trump said getting a lot done all right here we go folks
2024. All right, folks, uh, this next little part of it is a short clip of Trump talking about what we're going to have to do. Uh, we're going to have to go after the deep state like the deep state is coming after us, and we have got to win in 2024. Otherwise, our country pro probably will not make it with another four years of Democrats running the show, and that's just a fact of the matter. We've seen how far our country has fallen in two years. Uh, I can't imagine going another six years, and uh, that's just the facts of the matter. But before I play this uh, Trump last clip on here, I believe it is, with Trump, hope everybody likes, subscribe, and share. Um, I do want to let everybody know that this song can be, this J6 song, uh, J6 Choir, hashtag J6 PC, a prison choir, can be uh, looked up on Spotify or iTunes or I believe it's Apple, iTunes or all the different uh, music platforms. And if you do download it, the proceeds go from, from that to the J6ers and their families to help with legal fees and whatever needs to be necessary. That's why I encourage everybody to go download that if you can. It's, a, it's just a little small way of being able to support the J6ers. And uh, I just think it's absolutely necessary support these people in their time of need and uh that's all i got to say about that but i just don't forget what the purpose of this song is it's not just about trump singing uh the uh, national anthem the pledge of allegiance it's about um it's about injustice in our country and we've got to stop it and uh it starts by supporting those who have been unjustly uh, prosecuted that's all i'm gonna say about that one or i'll get off on a tangent here we go. Let's listen to Trump. This is the final battle. That's going to be the big one. You put me back in the White House. Their reign will be over, and America will be a free nation once again. Our enemies are desperate to stop us because they know that we are the only ones who can stop them. They know that. And that's a fact. That's all I got for you folks. He definitely, uh, if you watch the speech, um, you can actually watch the whole event if you don't know, over on Trump's channel, over on YouTube, and on Facebook. His uh, he's, his channel has been reinstated. It's over on Truth as well. It's on Bright Side Broadcasting Network, and even Newsmax covered a lot of it yesterday as of 5 p.m. Uh, so there's lots of footage out there, folks. I just figured I'd bring you a little bit of footage that I had and my take on the event, considering I got to be fortunate enough to be there and enjoy the day uh, with all those great patriots. Like, subscribe, and share to Voted Patriots. I hope you enjoyed. Everybody have a great day. Over and out.